Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will show you how to get started with ARM v8 using the DS5 development tool. We will start with a brief description of the ARM v8 architecture, and then we will talk about the DS5 development studio. Afterwards, we will set up our environment and create an ARM v8 project from scratch. Finally, we will run an ARM v8 model using the DS5 debugger. What is ARM v8? ARM v8 is the latest version of the ARM architecture. The ARM v8 architecture introduces 64-bit support to the ARM architecture with a focus on power-efficient implementation while maintaining compatibility with existing 32-bit software. It provides larger registers, a greater addressing range and cryptography instructions, enabling applications for smartphones and tablets. It also brings benefits to applications where 64-bit computing is already established, such as servers and network infrastructure. In particular, ARM v8A introduces two execution states, ARCH32 and ARCH64. The ARCH32 state is an evolution from ARM v7A, with A32 ARM and T32 thumb instruction sets and some new instructions. It uses the traditional ARM exception model and has virtual addresses stored in 32-bit registers. The ARCH64 state uses new 64-bit general purpose registers from X0 to X30, with new instructions A64, which is a fixed length 64-bit instruction set. It also includes SIMD, floating point, and crypto instructions as well as new exception models and virtual addresses that are stored in 64-bit registers. Now we will provide you with an overview of the DS5 Development Studio. DS5 is an ARM-specific software development suite which runs on Windows or Linux hosts. It is a professional software development solution for bare metal embedded systems and Linux-based systems. It covers all stages in development from boot code and kernel porting to application and bare metal debugging, including performance analysis. DS5 is made up of the following components. Eclipse for DS5. This is an integrated development environment that combines the Eclipse IDE from the Eclipse Foundation with the compilation and debug technology of the ARM tools. ARM Compiler 5 and ARM Compiler 6 toolchains. They enable you to build embedded and bare metal code. DS5 Debugger. This is a graphical debugger supporting end-to-end -end software development on ARM processor-based targets and fixed virtual platform targets. ARM Streamline. This is a graphical performance analysis tool that enables you to transform sampling data and system traces into reports that present the data in both visual and statistical forms. Fixed Virtual Platform, or FVP. Fixed virtual platforms are complete simulations of an ARM system, including processor, memory, and peripherals. It enables development of software without the requirement for actual hardware. ARM DS5 Development Studio also provides dedicated examples, applications, and supporting documentation to help you get started with using the DS5 tools. All tools contained in ARM DS5 are fully integrated into a single, easy-to-use development environment. Eclipse for DS5 is an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, that combines the Eclipse IDE from the Eclipse Foundation with the compilation and debug technology of the ARM tools. It includes a Project Manager. The Project Manager enables you to perform various project tasks, such as adding or removing files and dependencies to projects importing, exporting, or creating projects, and managing build options. Editors. Editors enable you to read, write, or modify C or C++ or ARM assembly language source files. Perspectives and views. Perspectives provide customized views, menus, and toolbars to suit a particular type of environment. DS5 uses ARM assembly language as well as C, C++, the DS5 debug, and DS5 configuration perspectives. The DS5 debugger simplifies debugging bare metal and Linux applications with comprehensive and intuitive views, 
including synchronized source and disassembly, call stack, memory, registers, expressions, variables, threads, breakpoints, and trace. Using the debug control view, you can single step through applications at source level or instruction level and see the other views update as the code is executed. Setting breakpoints or watch points can assist you by stopping the application and enabling you to explore the behavior of the application. You may use the trace view on some targets to trace function executions in your application with a timeline showing the sequence of events. You can also debug using the DS5 command prompt command line console. The DS5 debugger includes trace tools and components for non-intrusive analysis of timing related hardware and software bugs. Tracing can be performed at different levels and combined to get a comprehensive picture of system operation. Instruction trace. The instruction trace is used to debug random issues that are difficult to replicate by stepping through the code. Data trace. The data trace is used to record address and register values from the load and store instructions, combined with the instruction trace that gives a complete record of execution. System trace. The system trace provides low latency printf style instrumentation links. ARM develops and maintains several C and C++ compilers for every project requirement. ARM compilers are fast, efficient, and support small embedded systems, safety requirements, and application development. DS5 provides two versions of ARM compiler, ARM compiler 5. This supports a number of ARM architectures, including ARM v4 to ARM v7. Note that all architectures before ARM v4 are obsolete and are no longer supported by ARM compiler 5. ARM compiler 6. This supports ARM v7a and ARM v8a architectures. Note that ARM Compiler 6 is only supplied in the 64-bit installation of DS5. The builder is compatible with the GNU GCC toolchain, which integrates Linaro GCC for Linux. The ARM Streamline Performance Analyzer is a system-wide visualizer and profiler for ARM Cortex-A targets running on Linux or Android. It is a software-based solution that does not require trace units. It can be used both on a time-based sampling and on an event-based sampling mode for monitoring CPU performance events, such as cache misses and branch mispredictions. Moreover, it can handle multiple data sources, such as CPU and GPU hardware and software counters. ARM DS5 incorporates simulation tools for the development of software without the requirement of actual hardware, nor even additional machines to run hardware emulators, like in the vStream approach. Simulation is based on fixed virtual platforms, or FVPs, which are software models of processors and devices that are set out in a programmer's view, or PV. PVs provide a comprehensive model on which to test and build the software. The functional behavior of a model is equivalent to real hardware. However, PV models sacrifice absolute timing accuracy to achieve fast simulated execution speed so cycle counts are not reliable. FVPs are non-customizable PV models suitable for software development, which ARM supplies as executable files. FVPs, as their name suggests, are fixed. They are a black box on which software can be tested. FVPs are binaries derived from fast models. Though unlike fast models, they are not customizable. Fast models give the flexibility to add complex peripherals, infrastructure, and ARM Core Link interconnects along with a host of other ARM and third-party IP blocks. This gives software teams working on custom SOCs the ability to complete the majority of their software and integration ahead of the silicon availability. DS5 comes in three different editions, Community, Professional, and Ultimate, which are licensed managed from a single installation. DS5 Ultimate Edition supports the latest ARM processors and technology. According to the DS5 Edition's feature summary, the DS5 Eclipse IDE is offered in all versions, as well as having support for the Linaro GNU GCC compiler. Compared to the Ultimate Edition, the Community Edition does not offer any ARM compilers, neither ARM Compiler 5 or 6, whereas the Professional Edition offers both with some limitations. 
The DS5 Debugger for Community Edition offers bare metal debugging on the provided models, whereas the Professional Edition offers almost all DS5 debugger features. CoreSight Trace is not offered by the Community Edition, whereas it is by the other editions. Furthermore, the Community Edition offers support for ARM V8A Foundation model and for the single core Cortex A9 model, compared to the Professional Edition that supports almost all available processors. Finally, the Community Edition offers limited support for the Streamline Performance Analyzer and simulation with fixed virtual platform.